A preset is a file that stores the settings for an effect so it can be used later. If you find yourself constantly creating the same effect from scratch, like a particle simulation, a preset would save time and get the work done faster. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download, import, and export presets. I'm Javrev Albar for EnscapeDigital.com. Let's get started. The Preset Marketplace is an all-new central repository for HitFilm templates, built by the community. The library may be a bit small now, but with your help it can expand and become a useful resource for every HitFilm user. Each preset online displays a title, thumbnail, description, and version compatibility. The orange triangle represents Express, the purple and blue represents Pro. The number on the front tells you in which version the preset will work, and the plus sign means every version after that. So, these will all work in HitFilm 3 and up. If the thumbnail has a green circle with an A in it, the preset will only work in Express if you purchase the add-ons. The effects needed will be listed in the description. The download will come in a zip file, and depending on the effect, may also contain a composite shot. I've opened up HitFilm and created an ISD folder. I'll right-click and select Import Presets, then locate my file. It is now ready to use on a layer. So why does the light sword come with both a preset and a composite shot? It's because there is also a lightning effect that shares the same hilt and tip position as the light sword. With the preset, you would have to create your own points and pair all four attributes to it. If I go here to import composite shot and select that, you can see that it comes with two points already created and the corresponding settings already paired. This just saves a little bit more time if there are multiple elements in your shot. If the file you want to share is a composite shot, you don't need to export it, you just save like normal. You can actually go even bigger and import an entire project file with multiple composite shots if necessary. If you want to create and upload your own preset to the marketplace, the first important thing to note is this. To have your effects work in multiple versions of HitFilm, create them in the lowest version possible. A preset made in HitFilm 2 Ultimate will work in HitFilm 4 Pro, but not the other way around. Saving your own presets is easy and you can do it with both 2D and 3D effects. Here I have a layer with several grading elements on it. If I wanted to replicate this look later, I can make it faster for myself by saving them as one effect. I'll highlight all of the effects, right click, and select Create Preset. It'll ask me what I want to name it and in which folder it should be kept. Now if I have any footage that needs the same look, I can just drag the effect onto it. The procedure for 3D effects is pretty much the same you just right click on the layer itself. Right clicking in the effects panel reveals an export preset option, which lets you save it to the computer and share it with others. You can send an email to presets at inscapedigital.com with the following information, your name or who you would like to be credited as, the title of your preset and a short description, a 512 by 512 pixel thumbnail, which versions of HitFilm it'll work in, and of course the preset or template file itself. The marketplace is live now at inscapedigital.com slash presets. Thank you to everyone who submits content. If you have any questions, let me know, and you can stay updated of new templates added by following me on Twitter or liking on Facebook. There will also be a thread on the HitFilm forums. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.